Well, Matt Hoisted, a couple of really promising fillies in uh, you and Steve's yard. Get to run for some black type this weekend in Canadian Dancer and Taranga. Both off impressive last start wins. Obviously gets tougher at this time of year, doesn't it? We saw last Saturday at Eagle Farm, Gerald Ryan comes up and, and wins those three races. Do you enjoy that extra competitiveness? Yeah, look, it's, it's probably not not a great thing. It's obviously really good for racing though, isn't it? Look, obviously we, we want to sort of promote the product up here and things are getting sort of stronger obviously with, you know, um, especially with a few of these interstate trainers sort of setting up satellite stables up here. So it's, look, it's always a challenge, but, um, you know, a challenge that we're obviously always up for. And yeah, look, two really nice fillies. Obviously this has sort of been a bit of a target race for both of them. Um, you know, this is obviously the start of that, that sort of princess series and, and usually sort of can be I suppose probably the weaker of the four, the four sort of, you know, culminating in, in the Oaks, but it's um, come up a handy enough field field here, but look, two, two really progressive fillies that, um, yeah, sort of really, really being pleased off of the last start impressive victories, and, and yeah, hopefully the, the barrier man can be, can be uh, <laughs> kind to us tomorrow, and I'm sure they're both gonna, gonna be sort of more than competitive. Canadian Dancer is the more seasoned of the two and probably a little bit more sharper as well, is that, that fair to say? Yeah, definitely, Look, probably of the two. She's she's probably better suited at the mile, where, whereas now um, Tarang is potentially looking for a little bit further, even obviously winning at the mile last start and um, obviously being out of a, an Oaks winner Tinto you know, by Sebring, she's always been one that we've touted as, you know, you're going to only improve once she gets out over further, but um, you know, Canadian Dancer was obviously super impressive and, and was able, she's probably got the, the sharper turn of foot, which she obviously showed there at, at uh, Ipswich, sorry, last start and um, yeah, look, she's, she's had a faultless two and a half weeks since then and was, um, you know, which we'll be leading into this run and was really happy with her work this morning. So um, yeah, look, she's in, in tip-top condition as, as is Taranga also. You got Canadian Dancer to the mile last prep where she was just probably exposed nice and early in the straight and then left a sitting shot. You're comfortable she will see it, see the mile out? Yeah, definitely. Look, things just probably didn't really go, go to plan. She obviously drew wide that day and we had to use her a little bit to get across and, and although she got across cheaply enough, they, they rolled along in a pretty even clip that day and um, they sort of made it a truly rung mile and, and as you said she, she probably just needed a bit of a toe in from the top of the straight where she was exposed and you know, we're still really happy with her efforts but probably just showed that she's much better with the bunny to chase and, and really sort of showed that at Ipswich. She sure did, even stop in the tracks and then just pick up so quickly. Taranga, whereas she sort of built into the race at Dooma, didn't she? And she was really strong through the mile. Yeah, look, she's, def yeah, look, she's definitely a momentum horse, her, and you know the only obviously blotch on her record was probably the run here at Eagle Farm where you know, things probably weren't run to suit. The, the horses on speed really dominated that race and she sort of had to get pretty far back so she's definitely one that appreciates you know getting her toe in she obviously won her first start on a heavy track and then a soft the other day at doom and so i think the weather gods have, have sort of improved the forecast this weekend but we'd, we'd sort of you know, probably the wetter the better for her she she really appreciates that sting out and and um, you know she was really strong through the line and you know, I'm sure she will be again and, and really looking forward to even stretching her out further. Well early in the carnival I'm sure you'd love to get some black type uh, on the board so one two would be a nice result. Yeah well and two <laughs> would be a great great effort for obviously proven thoroughbreds obviously are big supporters of ours both both three own really nice fillies and um, you know I'm sure even if they can't um, get that this weekend there, there's going to be ample opportunities for the rest of their career they're, they're too progressive. We'll progressive see the proven course. thoroughbred colours also with private eye on Saturday obviously not in your stable but uh, he'll be a visitor here this week and runs in the tail so it'll be good to see him back as well. Yeah good obviously getting a, getting a sort of group one winner obviously up here it's a, a race obviously he cops a bit of weight but he's obviously by far the class in that race so that no, would be um, yeah great for, for the team and for obviously Joe if he was able to able to get another win again on Saturday. Well, good luck this weekend. Cheers thank you.